All right, this is a quick review of the different cases in the Greek language. First case is the nominative case. Nominative case is used when a word is the subject of a sentence. It performs the action of the verb. So we have the man is holding the sword. The man is in the nominative case. The marker for the nominative case is in the, in the masculine gender. It's o, and then the ending os, a, and then the ending a or a or a, and then to, and the ending on. So o ipos e cathedra to poterion. Genitive case is used after prepositions like epi and hippocato, but is more frequently used as a way to connect two words where the second word describes the first. So, for example, poterion idatos, idatos of the water, right, is in the genitive case. So, poterion idatos is a glass of water, right? Not a glass of milk, not a glass of wine, but a glass of water. Sometimes this uh, is a indication of ownership. So you could say, for example, the shirt of Matthew. Whose shirt is it? It's Matthew's shirt or the shirt that belongs to Matthew. But most often it shows you some other kind of relationship between the two words. So we can say that the sword is in the hand of the man. Of the man is the genitive case. Whose hand? The hand of the man. And the forms here, uh, masculine is to ipu, okay, u is an indicator of the genitive case in the masculine, teis cathedras, uh, ace, and then a as, or an ace at the end of the, of the word, is the indicator for the feminine, and then neuter is to poteriu, again, the u. Accusative case is used after some prepositions like dia, um, most often it shows a direct object that receives the action of the verb. So the man is holding the sword. What is he, the man holding? The man is holding the sword. Okay. Accusative case. The sign for the accusative case is a n. So you have ton, ipon, tain, cathedran, or to, poterion. Dative case is used after some prepositions, like the preposition n. <clears throat> the dative case most often shows an indirect object, something that is the recipient of the direct object. So the sentence below, I gave the sword to the man. <clears throat> what did I give? I gave the sword. That's the direct object. To the man is, who did I give the sword to? To the man. Okay, it's the indirect object. The marker for the dative case is yota, which you can see here, it looks like a little mark underneath the letter omega in to ipo. Or te cathedra, again, you can see this little mark there. That mark there is, is actually supposed to stand for the letter yota. You don't pronounce it, it just lets you know that this is the dative case. So you have to ipo, te cathedra, and to poterio. So to review again, the first declension or the first pattern uh, that is used for changing these forms is the feminine, a cathedra, in the nominative case. Genitive case is tes cathedras. Dative case is te cathedra. Accusative case is tein cathedran. The second pattern when it's the masculine, is this one. The nominative case is o ipos. Genitive case is to ipu. Dative case is to ipo. Accusative case is ton ipon. The second pattern, when it's the neuter, when it's neither male or female, nominative case is to poterion. Genitive case is to poteriu. Dative case is to poterio. And accusative case is to poterion. Again, note that in the neuter forms, in all these patterns, the nominative and the accusative form are the same. And so here's a quick summary of these different 
case endings.